Are you doing well? I'm feeling fantastic. I mean, I, I, although I understand that there are things being shaken up all over the place, that uncertainty is at levels that I've never known us to experience in the arts community. But, oh, I can just feel the creativity working, the meetings going, the hard conversations being had. I just feel like we are going to come out of this thing better than ever before. What, what is it that's giving you that sense? Well, because uh, the fact that the whole world has stopped hmm. and everything seems to be like a perfect storm of things coming together. How do you just stop? not just the nation, the world, the whole world has stopped for us to have a conversation. And it, it's brilliant because what it's doing it is it's strengthening us to talk out and speak out in ways that I don't think ge this generation has ever had the gall to do. Mm. And that is powerful. And I think it's not, I've been saying this all the time, Mark, but this isn't a, a black white thing. This isn't even this isn't even a, a a police brutality versus black people thing. I mean, it easily could be. It's definitely on the table. But this is a humanity thing. Hmm. What we're what we're being forced to do is look at each other's wants and needs as humans. And what we will learn is that our needs are all the same. And the fact that it is is now triggering the arts community. Oh my Lord, I'm like, this is amazing. It's amazing because there's no greater voice to me than the arts. And so we lift the cap off so we can have this kind of conversation with each other. Go ahead. Lift the cap off. What are you seeing in the arts community happening as a result of this? I think people are being held accountable in ways that we haven't felt like we could hold people accountable before. That we've had several talks. I mean, I've talked to my elders. Uh, in the black theater community and they have shared with me a lot of things that I did not know um, as far as like previous efforts and what the theater business is really about the business of it is really about broken relationships all the underlying things that you don't really get until you talk one-on-one -on -one with someone mm. and when I'm learning and then I've sat and talked with theater directors executives board members and what you'll learn is again we all have the same wants and needs. Now, how we go about getting them is how we comb through our own insecurities, which we also all have. Yeah. And that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing that we're starting to say, hey, the, we're, we're uncovering some things. You know, you, you, you've been saying that this has been happening and you know, now I got the time to look and see, yeah, that's not happening at all. <laughs> and then they get to go, Oh, we thought we were doing something. We're not doing nothing? No. Hmm. See? And it's not about shaming. I think it's just about being accountable. So um, we're, I think that's powerful. Do you have a sense of how you're capitalizing on, on this moment? Not capitalizing on, but seizing this moment? I'm seizing yourself? this moment to learn and listen. Hmm. As a young person, I'm 38 years old. Um, I've only been in this industry for maybe 20 years, and to some that might be a drop in the bucket, you know? Um, I'm learning how much I don't know. Hmm. I'm learning how much, uh, how many mistakes I've made in the past. I am hearing the voice of broken spirits from artists. I'm hearing the fear from executives. I'm just listening. Hmm. And for the first time in a long time, I think people are willing to share like the truth, not just, you know, town halls. I mean, we can have those, but you know how we are as artists. You see an audience, you want to perform. Mm -hmm. This ain't that. This is the time to listen and learn, not just about the other person either, mm -hmm. about ourselves.